Hi right, guys, okay, this is uh, priming of the EFX figures right now. Now what I've done is I've already done a light, a very light priming coat using this Army Painter color primers. Now normally I would use the Colors Place spray paint from Walmart and they start making flat white and now they start making flat black so they were actually primers and they were 99 cents opposed to what 10 bucks for for these primers and I guess I made out for a long time and it's over so now I gotta do that and this is what I was talking about goof off now I use goof off to strip the metal figs and when you are stripping these old marines like these guys are plastic do not whatever you do do not use this goof off for plastic it will melt it and it will kill it so what I'm doing is I'm soaking in regular thinner and then I strip it down and then we're good to go uh, What's happening right now is, um, I forgot to cover this up. I had to take the dogs out for a walk so they can go to the bathroom and all that neat stuff. So, uh, let's finish up what we're doing. So, as far as the Marines go, what I did was, uh, I took off the plastic bases. I took off the plastic arms. The backpacks and I soaked them in the thinner and then I scrubbed them down with the old toothbrush and then I put them in regular water to get the residue off it and put it back together so um, I'm just trying to organize my Space Marines take uh, take the old the old guys out strip them down to bare metal and then figure out what I want to do with them all right, let's get on with the uh, on with the um, FX guys. All right, so now what we're looking at is I've got the white, the white primer, and the black, and right now I am priming my Curious is white. Now it's your preference, what you like, and uh, now what I'm going to do is I've already primed the the horses so now I'm putting the riders on to see what I want to do with that I know that's pretty dangerous so I'm putting the riders on now they're not glued I won't glue them until they've actually all been painted up makes it easier to um, to paint your cavalry separately at least for me uh, so now what I'm doing is I'm just being a little bit uh, OCD with the uh, with the troopers here Now because I primed them, I'm going to do the, the troopers now, so it'll give it another little coat of primer on the horses. Now you can actually do one, if you wanted to, you could do them all together. I just did it this way because that's the way I did it. So really no madness, uh, reasoning to my madness here. Hopefully you can see that. Let me, let me see what you can see, huh? Can, can you see that? No, 
Uh, I wonder if these guys are going to blow off their horses. We'll see. Now I have more riders than I have horses uh, because I got that extra bit, some pieces auction. So I was. Okay, I'll throw these guys on here just for the hell of it. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll put the, uh, the banner carriers on there. Whoops. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's them. Alright, so... And that's the bell coat. Alright. Yeah, one guy just fell off. This light even coat will do fine because you've already got the um, the stain on there, which will will give it a nice. bit of adherence for your acrylics. Unless of course you want to use enamels too. When I first started painting FX figs, uh, I went with testers enamels. And at the time they only had the uh, gloss. So all my stuff was gloss and then testers came out with the dull coat. Which is um whoop. Alright, it's fine. And then you could paint it with the uh, with the enamel and then use the Dell coat to get rid of the gloss from the enamel all right now we have all these guys down here so I'm wondering if I should just do this while I'm doing it right so I got my artillery crew Now white is not forgiving, so that's that's the thing about priming in white, but I like the way white brings out the brighter colors, especially in Napoleonics. So um on that one. You want to stay about eight to ten inches away from your figs when you're priming them so you don't get that heavy kind of liquid drippiness to it. So you just want to give it a nice little space. Now whether you do it inside or outside, it's gonna your paint made a hair to it. It's gonna be a little bit different. If you're in a dry area, you might get that um, that grainy look to it. Uh, that goes as well as being cold. So it's gotta be just right. It's gonna be kind of like a, a room temperature for your figs to get primed correctly. You gotta be real careful about it. 
and like I said, just light coats, light spray, one second, maybe one second burst, nine to ten inches away, and then the end result. is this okay not too shabby I'm not too worried about the underneath uh, as we put on other coats we can get the underneath but because of the stain it's gonna it's gonna adhere all the way around so when you use your your base paint you're gonna be good but that's a light primer so your acrylics will adhere to it pretty good and it's going to get sealed in and, and like and here's uh here's your artillery pieces right same thing i love i love that that levitating <laughs> gun platform so let me turn these guys over see the glossiness there I don't know if you can see that uh, probably not but it's a little bit glossy but um, these this is a dull primer it's a flat primer so that glossiness will disappear go all right oh and a little there we go guys oh look at this one is the, these are one of the older guys that I already painted up a while ago and uh, I just for um, giggles I dump I actually dipped them in the uh, stain and that's how he came out I don't know if you can see that too well but he really doesn't look too bad all I have to do is hit him with the dull coat and see what happens right so let's put you there and we're gonna hit you with the dull coat I kind of like the way his armor shines though god I wish you could see that but you can't Hmm. It has that old toy soldier look to it, don't it? Oh well. All right, I'm gonna dull coat him. So we're gonna put him here, and a little spray there. Turn him over. And there we go. Okay, I'll let them dry. And then I need to get this stuff out of here before they rot away. And then we'll go from there, right? All right. So, now. Let's see what happened. Now they've been in there for for almost an hour or two. And I gotta say, whoever put these decals on, here we go, they're coming off now. Whatever he used or she used, man, it was tough getting those decals off. Now, all I'm doing is I'm just doing a basic, I'm, I'm scrubbing off the majority of the paint. I don't have to get it perfect. Um, I just want to get a little bit off it, the majority, and just, I do have extra bits and pieces that I could have just took the lazy way out and thrown these away or put them in a bits box, because it, it is painstaking, it really is. Um, yeah, see, look at that decals, those decals are like on there, like, I don't know what they, he didn't use a varnish or anything because the rest of the paint comes off 
pretty good, but these decals, man, I'm telling you. He must have used some kind of solvent or glue or something. But it's been tough. Oh, I picked up a book, and I'll have to do a, a, a book review on it. It's uh, the AFX Models. And I did see the uh, the um, box art for the AFX Models, and you're right. There's like 40, 40 bucks a book. But uh, I ended up getting the, um, the whatchamacallit first, the, the AFX Models. Yeah, oh, yeah, it came out pretty cool. I like it. It's not bad. Cool. Yeah. Nice. So I did pick up the AFX um, models from 50 something to current date or whatever it is. Um, I got it in the mail yesterday. Today is Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday. It was a pretty nice surprise on my day off to get that. Uh, I worked a couple of overtime shifts, so I've been pretty, pretty out of it. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do a book review on that. It's pretty cool. It gives a history of all the models and stuff. So, it was, I think some of my favorite models when I was a kid was, uh, was Lindbergh models, FX models, and Monogram Mavell. So, Monogram, Ravel, 